thought I'd do something a little bit different for our viewers. Today we're going to bring you a review on two products. If you're like me, you're a car enthusiast, you really enjoy automobiles, you take pride in how your car looks, you're going to love these next two products. So the first product that we're going to review, and they tie together, is the Big Mouth Foam Cannon, the Torque, by Chemical Guys. In combination with this, what we're also going to do is show you how the Honeydew Snow Foam um, car shampoo works and how good of a product it actually is. Now, the reason we wanted to do the Torque Big Mouth Snow Foam Cannon is that it's a nice easy way to clean your car very quickly, very simply, and you know, really build up a big sudsy layer so that you have that lubrication when you're cleaning your car. But today we're not going to show you that. We're going to show you something different, and, and I've tried this in a couple of applications, but we're going to take it to the extreme. Sometimes you're really rushed, you want to get out, car's been looking a little dirty, you don't have the few hours to really get through and detail it, so what do you do? Normally you end up leaving it. Or you question, do I actually take it through a car wash, which is not one of my favorite things. I try to avoid car washes at all costs. So we're going to show you today the Big Mouth Cannon, Foam Cannon. We're going to use it in a less than ideal scenario. We're going to use it with a, an electric power washer. This is a Simon Eyes, rated for a maximum of 2,000 PSI, approximately 1.8 gallons per minute. So it'll do a really good job with the snow foam cannon, but if you really have a power washer that's going to pump that gallons per minute up above two gallons per minute, two and a half gallons per minute, you're going to see a dramatic difference in the amount of suds and foam that you get. So we wanted to show you from a realistically inexpensive way, because you can buy a really good electric washer like this, and for a fairly reasonable price compared to some of the prices of the gas powered units. What's also nice is you're going to notice we're in an indoor setting. We're shooting this in the middle of winter. We're actually in January. It's snowing outside. Uh, you can kind of, well, the bit of snow has melted on the car that we brought it in. But it's snowing outside, which means you had a garage that's heated or is a, at least insulated a little bit that you could wash your car inside, the electric pressure washer is a great way to go. There's no fumes, no mess. Very easy to use. So we want to show you that. What we're going to do different is normally you'd foam your car and then you'd go over it with a soft mitt. Uh, again, Chemical Guys has some great options on that. And you're going to go back and forth after you've sprayed that snow foam. Today, we're going to do the complete opposite. You're in a rush, you want to go somewhere, and you have very limited time. We're actually going to use this soap, spray down this car, let it sit for a bit, then we're going to rinse it off without actually applying anything to it other than spraying it and see how much dirt it actually lifts. So let's take a couple of these items out of the way and get started. We're going to power up the pressure washer. What you're going to want to do first, all the time of course, is rinse off the heavy levels of dirt.
your, your attachment. We're going to come over to the, to the torque. And I'll come up a little bit closer here so you can actually see this. What's really nice is you have a dial to dial in more foam, less foam. You can also change your spray pattern here. You'll notice as I open and close this, the spray pattern will get smaller and tighter. And then because this is a really good quality foam cannon, you can actually turn that 90 degrees so that you're spraying width-wise rather than height-wise. Just really depends on your preferences. If you're doing a big unit like an RV, you're gonna wanna spray it up this way. Really get maximum coverage. We'll show you both of those as we're spraying this. So let's hook her up. Just it a little there. done this in a worst case scenario. A little bit light on the soap. Usually you want to put about two, three ounces of soap. We've gone a little bit lighter than that. We, we're using a pressure washer that has a little bit less water and the location we're sitting in doesn't have high, high pressure water here either. So you've got a trifecta of kind of the worst scenarios. Because sometimes you see these videos shot and you know, the person's really experienced with the soap. That's great if you've had the Canon for a long time. What about if you've just purchased it and you're new to this? You're gonna play around with it. What about, again, you already have a pressure washer. Maybe it's not the ideal specs. What's it gonna be like? And as we said, you're rushing out to go somewhere. What can you do? We'll bring you another video that'll also show you some saving, time-saving tips. But for this one, we're gonna focus on the snow can. So we've let it sit for a few minutes. We're going to take our snow can off. We're going to just put our regular nozzle back in. I like a wide fan nozzle. Uh, one piece of advice or recommendation that I'm going to give on any snow foam cannon is when you're done using it, Take any remaining soap out if you haven't used all of it. Have a separate container to store it in. Also, um, do one of two things. 
either have a clean bucket of water and hopefully as you're cleaning you're going to use a two bucket setup one bucket with soap that you're going to put your mitt in to then wipe on the existing foam that's been made and then when you come back a clean bucket of water that you're going to dip your mitt in rinse off any debris before you re-soak it in the soapy bucket that's going to keep any contaminants from getting into that mitt and dragging across your paint again. Uh, so if you have a clean bucket of water, take the top of your snow foam cannon out, insert the hose into the clean water, and then run it through so that you have fresh water running through the snow foam cannon. That'll keep the internals really clean. If you don't have that second bucket, what you can also do, give out Give the container a good rinse, get any soap out of it, fill it with clean water, close it back up, run it. Run it empty, and that way you're running fresh water through so any soap residual isn't sitting in your foam cannon, building up and starting to clog it. So what we're gonna do now, let's give this car a rinse, and then I'll pick up the camera and bring you up a little bit closer. car is a lot cleaner but what we'll do is I'm gonna come around here let's actually make this camera mobile we're gonna bring you up a little bit closer so you can actually see that it's actually cleaned it really well there's a few little spots up front but very very minor so it would just be maybe letting it sit a little bit more you're going to notice as we come a close, and even as we come down to the bottom here, you'll notice how clean it's actually cleaned the car. The real, real way to tell this is let's come around the back. You're going to notice the spots back here where we didn't really put any soap. And let's take a look at this side of the car. This is what the car was like before. So you'll notice there's quite a bit of dirt on it. And even in the rims, you know, the sand, because we were out driving this earlier. So you'll notice quite a bit of dirt as you move around. And even up front, right? Now we come around this side where we let it sit. It's actually done a really great job. So we'll set this back in place. So, if you're looking to clean your car really quick, there's a quick and easy way. Whether you've got a date with the girlfriend, you want to take your wife out, maybe you're running over to see a buddy, and you like your car to look really nice. Great way to do it. Take yourself 
you know, this is worth every dollar you're going to pay for it. The torque, big mouth, snow foam cannon by Chemical Guys, it's going to make your cleaning a lot easier. And again, remember this is really non-ideal scenario conditions. Uh, really good powerful pressure washer, you're going to see this soap and sud up. And we'll bring you one of those videos in the summer when the weather's a lot nicer. In, in an ideal setting, you'll see it's going to be like shaving cream from how much it makes the suds. But for a quick and easy way, even in the winter, you want to get the road salt off, get it cleaned up a little bit, and you know, as I know now, I'm going to take this car out of here in five minutes, and it's going to be filthy before I even get on to the on-ramp. So quick easy way, using the Honeydew Snow Foam as well, which is by Chemical Guys. It actually lifts that dirt. That's what it's designed for, making your car cleaning really easy. And if you're in a rush, spray it on. You saw how long we let it sit, a minute or two, let it lift everything up, and you'll have a great time. So if you like the video, please click the like button. Please subscribe to our channel and we'll bring you some of these great ideas to make your lifestyle a lot easier. One day we'll bring you a video showing you how to do this on an RV. So if you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe, and we'll notify you of new videos as they become available. Showing you how to really live life to the fullest, look at great products, like the Torque Snow Foam, Big Mouth Snow Foam Cannon by Chemical Guys. Well, this is Bruno from RVing TV saying thank you and we'll see you again shortly. Make sure you live life to the fullest.